Welcome back, family of light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. All right, so I have come in contact with a young lady who is passed over who would like to speak. Now, honey, what would you like to say? She said, I was, I was 14 when I was taken. I was walking along the side of a road and a man asked me if I wanted a ride and I said no and he forced me into the car and locked the door. He told me that if I tried anything he would kill me. He killed me anyway. He took me down to a basement or some dark place where he proceeded to rape me for 14 days, it seemed. My name is Sophia. I have dark hair, brown eyes. Something about Maine. Were you taken to Maine? No, you lived in Maine. And how long ago was this? Is 1972 when you were born? When it happened? He buried me out in his yard with others, three or four other girls. He would talk about how he hated doing this, but he would do it anyway. <clears throat> it was a compulsion for him. He would even hit his head with his hands and even sometimes against the wall after he was done having sex with me. It was almost like he was talking to someone saying, why, why do I have to keep doing this? Why do I keep doing this? So he was very psychotic. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry guys. You know, mind you, Sophia just walked up to me today while I was looking at the news about um, how Gabby Petito's um, search led to another, uh, a father who had been missing for four days up in the Tetons. And she, in my mind's eye, of course, she walked up to me. Now, Sophia, what else? Can you give me a last name? Um, something with a G. G. Sorry, I'm writing this down. It's like Garofalo. Garofalo. Something with a G. <clears throat> what was the man's name? She was like, I don't know. He didn't tell me. But she did. I'm hearing something about Joe. Who's Joe? She's saying it was like a gray station wagon. He was a white man. Holding. And he wore glasses. She said he was an unattractive man. Okay. 
Sophia, anything else? She's saying, please help me. <clears throat> please help them find me and the other girls. Now, do you think that you were still in Maine? Like the state Maine, right? She's saying, no, it's not the state. She said, he took me to the house at night. But it was a old, like post-world home. Maybe in the 50s was built, 40s, 50s. Small home. All right, Aunt Honey, any other information? Okay. All right, honey. Um. Have you crossed into the light? Okay. So you have not crossed into the light. Because she's asking me, where's the light? She's looking around for it. Okay. So let's call in the Archangel Michael. Let's call in your family that has crossed over. That is on the other side. No, it's no, there's no reason to be scared. There's no reason at all. No reason at all. This is a good thing. And I can see that the light is getting bigger over in this direction and she's standing in front of me. She did say that he was finally able to stop killing young girls. And he's a very old man now. Something about him being in a nursing home. that he definitely had his own demons that he fought against. She said, of course, that's still no excuse. She's now holding hands with um, people on either side of her holding her hands, and she's smiling. And she says, thank you, she'll be back to see if there's any progress. All right, Sophia, thank you so much. All right, you guys, I wanted to put this out there because she wanted it out there. Um, any, if anybody knows anything about this, um, please let me know. I will try to, I won't try, I will put in um, the description box or the comments the information of what I got. And um, you know, I'll also do some research and see. Sorry that there's not much to look at here, but... Um, I, like I said, I just woke up, and you can tell by my voice that I ju <clears throat> just woke up. So, um, yeah. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.